Hello everybody in year two, it's Mrs Moore here and today we are going to have a look at the life cycle of a penguin. I love penguins, they're one of my favourite animals, I think they're really really cute and they're very very um, interesting animals as well. Um, and if you've ever seen the movie Happy Feet, which I know some of my class definitely have, um, you will know a little bit about the life cycle of a penguin already. So let's get started. Here we have our life cycle of a penguin and you can see the arrows pointing round the circle to each new picture. So I wonder, can you find the egg on your screen? If you can find it, you point to it. And once you've pointed to the egg, whoever's at home with you can give you a thumbs up if you've got it right. So well done if you have found the egg and that's where we're going to start today. Um, in the life cycle of a penguin, all penguins start out as an egg. And then if you follow the arrow, we'll get to the chick. And that is the next part of the life cycle of a penguin. The chick hatches out of its egg and it turns um, into a little chick then. And then if you follow the next arrow down, you'll get to this funny looking penguin. He's got lots of fluff all over him, doesn't he? And he is called a fledgling. And then follow the arrow again and we'll get to an adult penguin. So that's a quick look at the life cycle of a penguin, but let's have an even closer look at each stage. So the egg. Did you know that king penguins and emperor penguins lay only one egg each year? Emperor penguins are the type of penguins that we see in Happy Feet. Mumble is an emperor penguin. And an emperor penguin egg is looked after all winter by the daddy penguin. So the mummy penguins go to the sea and they hunt for fish and they bring all the fish back. And the daddy penguins stay and they tuck the egg in underneath in a special pouch that they have and they keep the egg nice and warm and toasty. And when the chicks are ready, then they hatch out of their egg and it can take up to three days for a chick to poke its way out of its egg. They poke a wee small hole in the egg with their beaks and then they keep tapping at it until the egg breaks. And when the chicks hatch, their feathers are really soft and downy and the chicks need their parents to feed them and to look after them because they can't do it themselves yet. So as the chick grows up, um, it turns into a fledgling. And this is when the chicks start to lose their um, the feathers that they have when they're just little baby chicks. And they start to grow their adult feathers. And you can see the, the black and white um, coming through that sort of fluffy stuff. Um, that's the adult feathers. And those feathers are waterproof and the chick has to grow these waterproof feathers before it can go out to sea. And once it has its waterproof feathers all grown, then the fledgling, the fledgling is independent and that means that it can go and dive and hunt for food all by itself. And then lastly, after it loses all that fluffy feathers and it grows its waterproof feathers, and then it becomes an adult penguin. And adult penguins, they spend half their time on land and half their time in the sea. And once they're all grown up, if it's a girl penguin, it's ready to find a daddy penguin. And if it's a boy penguin, then it's ready to find a mummy penguin. And it can take a penguin a few years to find its new partner. And penguins can live up to 20 years old. So we've had a look at the life cycle of a penguin. Starts off as an egg, hatches into a chick, becomes a fledgling, then grows its waterproof feathers and becomes an adult penguin. And then the mummy adult penguins lay an egg and it starts all over again. So I've sent you um, a little activity on seesaw that you can do. If you've got a printer at home, you can print it out and you can cut and stick the life cycle of a penguin. If you don't have a printer at home, don't worry because you can just edit over the top of it and draw lines on to match um, 
the life cycle of a penguin or put it in the right order, okay? If you do that, please send it to me so that I can see it and see the great job you've done. And if you find out or if you already know any really interesting facts about penguins, you could maybe make a poster of these interesting facts or take a little video of yourself and send it to me so that I can see um, what you have been learning about. Can't wait to see all your great work about penguins. I'll see you soon. Bye.